So, uh, all right, so, so our Cook Adventure uh, here, this, this great class was not only a service learning class, but it was also our first collaboration with uh, Plymouth Marine Lab. So why don't you guys tell us um, how that started to happen? Well, so um, I'll let Guy talk about that mm-hmm. because they actually reached out to me. And yeah. so, yeah, well, my, yeah, my advisor, Mike, uh, got in contact with you on Twitter. Yep. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so social media savvy, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and then it just it spiraled into this thing. Like event, uh, initially, it was sort of just helping out um, with bits and bobs because our, 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 our ROV had, uh, well, been built badly. <laughs> so <laughs> We needed some help um, and you sent some stuff over, which is great. And then, you know, I uh, started talking about the actual payload and what I wanted to do and you mentioned that you're going here then I got an invitation and then here I am yeah so it's just yeah it's spiraled into this fantastic yeah. uh, collaboration it's great and so we use yeah. one of our robots we use yeah. one of your sensors on one of our robots yeah that's right and so when I first start talked to his advisor Mike Allen um, he basically painted a scenario that we were in with uh, Channel Islands where we had ROVs that were put together and they weren't quite functional. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I attempted to, through many Skype conversations and sending parts through the mail to get their, their ROV back on its, well, not really feet, flippers, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we tried to get it up and running and it's unfortunately just too far gone. Yeah, and we, we were in the same boat as well. So uh, luckily we have a, a, a pretty stable fleet of ROVs and uh, through our Skype conversations, we developed a way to mount his package mm. uh, onto our ROVs and we kind of uh, planned for his his setup to go on our ROV. So by the time we got here, we had everything prepared. So it just slid mm. right on. Yep. And all we had to do was some minor tweaks to get it uh, flying properly. Uh, and it, yeah, worked it worked great. And it worked. Yeah, yeah it, it worked, worked really well. Yeah. 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 And yeah. so we uh, we were able to, to prove his hypothesis uh, for finding biofluorescent proteins in coral. We found quite a bit, actually. Yeah, loads. And Lo- loads more than I th- would have thought, you know. Yeah. So, so having sort of uh, the ability to communicate easily, having more open source type technology makes it easier for, for scientists to collaborate, not just share information, but actually Absolutely. do new collaborations yeah. and Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. And so one of the things we we're doing is with the advent of 3D printers, we use a lot mm. of 3D print parts. Mm. And so he would send me a file, uh, a 3D model, and I'd say, okay, cool. That's exactly the dimensions of the, the, the package that you have. Let me adapt it so it'll work with us. So I took his stuff, copy paste here and there, yeah. threw it all together using an open source 3D modeling program. And then so uh, put it all together and then 3D printed it. And likewise, he was doing the same across the ocean. Yeah, yeah, no, that's it's pretty good. That really good actually, yeah, yeah. Very nicely. Modern technology. So yeah. what? So what? Okay. So then what's? So we've done this. Uh, our friends here in the Cooks would like us to do some additional things. But what? What do you guys? What, you guys have any thoughts of what might next steps might potentially be in terms of um, collaborations or ideas for next steps independently? Or what do you guys think? Well, we need to make a, a more robust uh, payload to mm-hmm. detect these proteins. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, I'm not sure how to go about that just yet. Sure. I haven't had time to sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. sit back and think, but. I mean, you know, you helped me out with it along the way, so I'm sure something else can, uh, we, we can think of more ideas as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I think yeah. that maybe uh, switching to a uh, slightly different platform or rather uh, a more robust platform with the ability to see in more directions at once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, doing, uh, we're doing our, essentially our sensing post hoc instead of in situ currently. And so switching to that and per- perhaps adding an autonomous uh, feature to it when removing our tether would... Mm. Definitely increase the, the abilities of the uh, system. Yeah, it would be handy. And yeah. so, yeah, I think an AUV or a uh, heavily modified open <laughs> ROV is yeah. in the future. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, any, any last words about open source and collaborating and stuff like that, you guys? Um, I don't know. It's just, it's been, it's just been, it's, it's just helped my projects and my research. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's like, wonderful. To no end. Yeah. Yeah, cool. the, yeah. the ability to, to reach out to somebody on the other side of the world and work on something, I mean, in past times, this would take months, right. months. Right. We did yeah. this right. all, all together, I think we've been communicating for about two months. Something like that, yeah. And so we so were able to put together a package that went together well and functioned and well, yep. did what it was supposed to yep. Yep. in just a very short period of time. Uh, and I actually never saw his payload until mm. We got here, so yeah. <laughs> it worked yeah. out very well. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, good job, you guys. Excellent collaboration. Cheers. Woohoo! <laughs>